Today we're playing Panzer Leader. We are doing situa uh, situation seven. And it is the encircle of Nancy. September 14, 1944, elements of the American 4th Army Division attacked the German 553rd Volksgrenadier Division and attachment units during the encirclement of Nancy. So over here you see an overview of the battlefield. They're headed left to right. The goal is the capture of this town right here, Ground Cells. And the Germans have to pre prevent that from happening. The Germans have to prevent the capture of Grand Cells without losing more than 11 units. If they lose 12 units, they lose the game. And that's pretty much it. Now, as the Germans, this is how I set things up. I noticed the previous game, the American lot of games with the Americans due to the Americans or the Canadians whoever it was not having enough time to fill the victory conditions so what I did is I took these carts and I placed them over the roads to slow the Americans down so there was a cart here and a cart here both in wooden terrain let's see is that the best place to put it all right so that's slow them down and then I let them take Nis, but then I made real roadblocks at Aria. If you look at Aria, there's a river here. And this is going to be a choke point right here because if there's only one way the vehicles can get up to cross the river, and that's at this point right here. We cross it, but it's going to slow them down. So I put a lot of my anti-armor, all three of my anti-armor weapons at this location right here. I have the three 75 millimeter anti-armor guns. I also have my one tank, well, self-propelled gun, the Hetzer right there on the reverse side of that woods, mainly to knock out the tanks as they come across that bridge right there. And I also have some trucks right there on that reverse slope to slow the Americans down and have a truck on the bridge itself and a truck right there. Then coming down further, I have these two howitzers right here. Hopefully I can eliminate and take down an American half track as it goes through these two points. And then I have all these units. These right here are submachine gun units. Their strength is six, so they're pretty good on the attack. And um, that's the first layer, slow the Americans down. I also have the second layer back here, which, which is going to attack the Americans as they're coming in the open on the bridge. I also, as the Americans approach, I have this uh, howitzer right here, the 10 firepower, GW38. I guess it can also act as a mortar, indirect fire mortar. So I saw this little M. Didn't see that before. That's interesting. I could have done indirect fire, but oh well, I'm gonna go with this this setup. I think if I'd seen that earlier, I might have used these as indirect fire weapons. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should back a little bit. Oh, but where would I move them to? Uh, Okay, let me see if I might move those actually. So I just noticed they have indirect fire capabilities. So a good place to put this one would be right there. And a good place to put this one would be maybe because there's limited range, maybe right there. No, I want to have it right there. I want to be want it to be out of the line of sight. Okay, so that's one adjustment I made. Let me save that. Okay, so I'm going to start the log file and begin the game. Oh, I already 
Let's get some nut pop. Okay, so here we go. Arcane Circumlet of Nancy. So the Americans do not have, cannot see anybody right now, so they can't do indirect fire. They can't do direct fire. All they can do right now is movement. So let's do this. So they go one, one and a half, and they spot this guy right here. And there's not much they can do about him. So the next group, oh, by the way, these units right here, I have a light tank, a heavy tank, and an M3. Half track with a rifle, infantry rifle. So I could have some of these go forward and have the infantry take care of that wagon. But no, I'll just stop it there. I'll go one, one and a half, two and a half, two and a half, three, four, five, six, six and a half. That's my movement. Eight, six and a half. Seven and eight. I actually notice there's a little bit of woods right there. That's a woods hex. Interesting. Okay, so I know what's coming there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and a half, that'll take care of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, right there. And I'm just gonna have these guys should be a half a hex behind one. Two, two and a half, three, four, five, six, six and a half, and the other one. Oh, now the this this right here is a group of uh, three half tracks plus a um, medium tank. Uh, the half tracks are contain rifle squads, white rifle platoons, and an anti a fifty-seven millimeter. And to armor weapon, I can park them right there. And this one just, I believe, has a rifle squad, so I'll park him right there. All right, that's what I'm doing. I should have unloaded the rifle squads. So I, my, the rifle squads could have done a close assault against that wagon. But, oh well. Okay, so that's going to be it. Yeah, I should, could have put a rifle squad right there and moved on. So if I'd put a rifle squad right here, you know, I could have did a close assault. I wouldn't have had to waste. Oh, well. Okay, so that's it for the... Uh, by the way, this is a 10-term game. So I guess put this at the end. And that's it for the Allies phase. Now we're going to go on with the Activist phase. Now the axis basically doesn't have well let's see what we can do here all right well we slow, we did our job we slowed down the allies advance and if i move this all right if i move that it's gonna be a can take opportunity fire and get eliminated so there's no point in moving it out of i can move it deeper into the woods though that would work this guy right here, is there anything I can do with him? Not really. I would just open myself up to opportunity fire. Okay. Well, let's see if the Germans have anything down here. I'll go to the overview window up here. All right. So over here, you can see the progress that the Americans are making. All right. And you can see the, the choke point over here at Ariel. And where the 
ultimate goal is ground cells. Okay, so let me close the overview window. So we're going to go on to turn American turn to right click clip. I'm going to go back. So now it's the indirect fire phase. And I st still don't have indirect fire. Because I can take care of one tank or even the half track can take care of these little guys right here. I'm going to let the half tracks that are coming in back take care of these guys. And I'm going to go forward with the tanks. This is going to be the movement phase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. All the trucks are spotted. And stop. Germans are not giving any opportunity fire right now. Because if they do opportunity fire right now, It's not a good time for the Germans to do opportunity fire. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I can create what I can create Mega Rex up there. So over here we have 13, 1, 2, 3. So it's going to be halved and doubled. Halved because they're firing uphill. Now, who do I want to take out? I want to go for the half track and the M5. And I have this one right here, too. I also have this guy right here, too. And I don't think he can see them yet. Let's take a look. So, Germans are going to be out doing some opportunity fire right here. Oh, he actually has a slash sight to them. It doesn't cross the hex side. Good. One, two, three. No, yeah, there's a tabletop effect right there for that. All right. I want to take some of these guys out. I'm going to have this guy fire and this guy fire. Let's see. I want to, at the very least, take out the light tank and the half track. All right, so this one and this one are firing at the half track. That's going to be a four to one plus one. Let's roll that. That's a six. It's just dispersed, man. That's bad news. Rats. Americans are getting the jump here. I need to take that out. I need to take that unit out. Now I have one more unit, this guy. And he's going to remain hidden. Shoot. That's not good. I need to have that fire be more effective than it was. And that opens those guys up to receiving fire back. So now the game is up. And I can move Americans more forward. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the other ones are going to be falling right behind. Like so. So for this guy, this guy goes one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and there's one of my cleanup crews. One, unload. 
cool. I'll just have that this one guy take care of both these cards. Um, all right, that's it for the American turn two. Over oh, the allies turn two. Now the allies do have an indirect fire weapon. Actually, probably should have had the indirect fire, both indirect fire weapons up here. I could have put one on the back of this hill, but I didn't, so. So, the Hetzer, I can have that truck right there spot. There, I'll spot that Hex. So, I need to get another indirect fire marker but all this yes B C C six That's the one that's spotted. Any other movements? Well, have a shot over there. Yeah, I'm going to take another shot at that. Well, do I want to take a shot at that rifle squad right there? At that, uh, dispersed. Yeah, because it's going to be a 13 to 3. I mean, it's going to be a 13 halved. Thirteen halved. And then doubles is gonna be thirteen to three. Yeah, it's gonna be a four to one. Okay. Four to one plus one. That eliminates those two units. That gets put erect there, which isn't bad. I get to count these as eliminated. Place a wreck. On that hex, which is good, that can slow the Americans down further. I can send these to the destroyed unit screen. All right, anybody else? So they fire, that was normal fire. I think when I did these opportunity fires, I might have made a mistake in the calculations. Should have been 13 to 3. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it was 4 to 1. I just got the disperse result. I rolled a 6. That's right. It's anybody else that can fire against them? So, all right, I don't have any movement. Well, yeah, kind of do have movement. I have that hop. This howitzer, mortar howitzer thingy that I put in a bad position. Start moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. See if I can't get into the action. All right, so let's look at the overview window. Okay, so over here you can see where the Americans are. Oh, wait. Uh, During the well, all right. Well, the Americans didn't do their close assault against this wagon right here. That's not that big a deal. 
that's a German's movement. And I can get this guy out of there and take advantage of that. Well, see if I move it. There's just there's no point. They're going to be a target of opportunity, American opportunity fire. So I might as well move there. Make the Americans stay there and do the close assault. Okay, so that's going to be it. When we come back, it's going to be the Allied Baron III. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.